Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today, I would like to share with you on the transformative power of living every day for Jesus. And essentially, as followers of Jesus, we are called to live in a way that honors and glorifies our Heavenly Father. So let us take a moment to reflect on how we can truly live each day for God. So first and foremost, living every day for God starts with a personal relationship with Jesus Christ and salvation is the foundation of our faith and it is through Christ's sacrifice on the cross that we have been reconciled to God. By accepting him as our Lord and Savior, we enter into a new life filled with his grace, mercy and forgiveness. It is in this relationship that we find true purpose, joy and eternal life. So let us prioritize our relationship with Jesus, spending time with him in prayer and reading his word and seeking his guidance in all aspects of our lives. So what does living for God mean? Living for God means uh, surrendering our lives completely to him. Not our will to be done, but his will in every single circumstance, in every single situation. It's by confessing of his lordship over our life and saying that with what you have given me, where I am in life, the skills that I have, the family that, you, that I'm born into, the city that I live in, my nationality, there was a plan that he had a plan. The Bible says in Jeremiah 29, 11, that he has got a plan for us to prosper us to give us a hope and a good future. God does, God does not do things by mistake. So we have to get in and we have to be conscious about totally surrendering our lives to God. The one that brought you here, the one that uh, created the heavens and the earth, the one that breathed life into our, no in, into our nostrils. You know, a lot of the time, uh, we as believers and as human beings, we think that we can figure it all out. We think, uh, we know better, we think we know better than God. We try to deviate our, we, we try and deviate from uh, his purpose for our lives. But essentially, that will never bring us the fulfillment that we would desire. Me personally, I used to feel like I can figure things out on my own. I used to think that, um, yeah, I can, I can do everything by myself. The Bible says that God's wisdom, God's foolishness is not even up to man's wisdom. God knows, God is, God is all knowledgeable. He's all wise. Like He knows the, our ending. Uh, he knows our ending to, our, for, for, he knows our beginning to our end. And so we must be conscious about and begin to live and sacrifice and leave it all to leave it leave it all up to him all right so yeah accepting him as our lord and say by accepting him as our lord and savior we enter into a new life filled with his grace mercy and forgiveness and it is in this relationship that we find true purpose joy and eternal life so living for god uh, means surrendering surrendering our lives completely to him and in romans chapter 12 verse 1 the apostle paul urges us to offer our bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This means yielding our will, our desires and ambitions to God's perfect plan. It requires letting go of our selfishness and embracing his divine purpose for our lives. Surrendering to God allows him to work in and through us, transforming us from the inside out. Uh, one thing I have seen is, and, and we, 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 we've learned about it time and time again, that the righteous shall never be ashamed. Serving God will never bring you shame. Yielding our lives to God will never bring us shame. We must be conscious and, about that and realize that um, his plan for us is perfect. He's got a plan to prosper us, to give us a hope and a future. So let's get into the habit, even in your prayer, even in your, in your quiet time with God, whatever skills you have, whatever little time, whatever little resources that you have, whatever little influence that you have in your family, in your job, in your business, 
surrender it to God. Offer what you have as a living sacrifice to, the, to, to God and see what he does in your life. I can attest to you that he will do remarkable things. He will do things that Lord, the, the Bible says that no, that, that no eye has seen, no eye, no, no eye has seen, no ear has heard the great things that he will do in our lives. So let us consciously surrender our lives completely to him. Furthermore, living every day for God involves aligning our thoughts, words, and actions with his will. It means living a life of obedience to his commandments. Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Obedience flows from a heart that loves and reveres God. My mom used to say that obedience is better than sacrifice. And essentially it means that his guidance that we do and allowing his will to shape our decisions. Let us strive to walk in his righteousness and holiness, knowing that God's commands are, are for our good and for his glory. Living for God also means sharing his life, his love and truth with others. In Matthew chapter 28, verse 19 to 20, Jesus gave us the Great Commission, instructing us to go and make disciples of all nations. We are called to be ambassadors of Christ, shining his light in a dark world. We are called to shine his light in a dark world. Even as darkness prevails in uh, the land, even as darkness prevails in our economy, we as sons of God, wherever there's darkness, that means there's also the presence of light. So we who are in the light will continue to shine in every single thing that we find, in, in every single space that we find ourselves in. So. What does this involve? This involves showing love, compassion, and kindness to those around us and boldly sharing the message of salvation. Friends, let us seize every opportunity to share God's word and his love to those who are lost, broken, and in need of his saving grace. Lastly, as we conclude, uh, living every day for God requires Perseverance, perseverance and faithfulness. It requires perseverance and faith. The, the, just, because that, just because we have received salvation does not mean the path will be straight. It just means that any single, it just means that uh, we have guidance. The path will never be straight, right? There's no straight path. It, mean, it doesn't mean that everything will be rosy. It just means that every in every single trial, in every single, even on sunny days, on uh, cloudy days, during storms, it means that we have uh, someone to guide us and walk us through. We are not, a, God has given us uh, his helper. He's given us a helper in the Holy Spirit. And he promises, he promises to be with us, to strengthen us and to guide us through every circumstance. Therefore, let us hold on to our faith trusting in God's unfailing love and his faithfulness to his promises. Let us draw near to him in prayer, seek his wisdom and rely on his strength. The Bible says to pray without ceasing. That means we pray about any and everything. It also says that we seek his wisdom. The Bible says that wisdom is the principal thing, All right? Wisdom is the principal thing. Let us consciously seek and ask God for his wisdom in all things. The difference between uh, someone that is extremely skilled and prospering in their career or in their business is an effect and it's, it's a result of the wisdom that he has uh, if in, in, in that space. Let us seek his wisdom. God can deposit in us wisdom for this season, for this, for this day, wisdom, wisdom to rise above circumstances, Wisdom to rise above inflation. Wisdom to rise above uh, this, the, the economies of this world. God can do a new thing in your life today. God can set you apart in this generation. If we are conscious and if we uh, diligently seek Him 
and allow him to take precedence in our lives. So in, conclu in conclusion, once again, living every day for God is a journey of faith, a daily surrendering of our lives to his will. It starts with a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, surrendering our all to him and obeying his commands. It involves sharing his love and truth with others and persevering in our faith. So today may we be inspired and encouraged to live every day for God, knowing that he is faithful. God is not a man that lies. God is faithful. God keeps his promises. His promises are yeah and amen. And may we know that our lives can bring glory to his name. May our, li may our lives, may your life today be a living testimony of his love and grace. Amen.